All right, chip of the day. Um, the chip of the day is a 74LVX00. So again, a strange family of parts, LV, low voltage, X, uh, the LVX. And what's its claim to fame? Well, it's nice. It can take uh, five volt systems and convert them down to three volt systems. So this will be a three volt part, but you can input five volts and it's okay with that. In fact, it can tolerate voltages all the way up to seven volts. Um, and so it's great for a five volt to three volt system. So this is just a regular 7400 uh, NAND gate, all right? And so we're gonna be using it, uh, again, I'm gonna inject on pin one. Pin one and two will be shorter together, and then three and four will be shorter together, and then four and five will be shorter together, and then I'll take the output of this, op of this uh, NAND gate and bring it around to pin 13 and do the same thing. We'll take the output off of pin eight, okay? and I'll be running a 555 timer into the input. Now, I'll be running the 555 timer at 5 volts, but I'll be running the chip at 3.3 volts, so that will give us our uh, voltage translation. So, uh, here it is down here. Um, I guess I we should look a little bit farther on the data sheet. I'm sorry, I passed up the data sheet too quick. Um, all right, so the part will run from 2 volts to 3.6, and the input will be from zero to five and a half. That's the operating, uh, that's the uh, uh, recommended. It'll go up to seven volts, but this is recommended. Um, at three volts VCC, it gives you two volts out, and at three volts VCC, it will give you 0.8 volts. Uh, oh, these are the inputs. At two volts, it trips high, and at 0.8 volts, it trips low. There is no VOH specification, but it does give you a VOH at four milliamps. So the part's only good for four milliamps. The other one, the other, the Q parts, the LVQs, those were good for very high currents. These are only four milliamp parts, but they do take the inputs, which is nice. Okay, now for the day sheet. Uh, here we go. Here is our device setup. And we have the 555, and then we have the part. I'll be looking at it with a scope. So let's uh, go over here. Let me rearrange things a bit. Sorry, you guys are in the way. So there we go. I've got the, uh, this, the blue one is the uh, 555 timer. And you can see the 555 goes up to five volts and we're getting a 3.3 out, okay? So there you go. Um, if we zoom in, uh, we can see that uh, we have some, let's turn off the blue trace. Uh, so here is our, here is our uh, part, a little bit of ringing on it. Again, we can take our, uh, our probe to do a high, high frequency analysis. You should always have a short ground. So we will take off the, uh, take off the ground. And where's my spring? Here's my, my spring contact. We'll put that on the probe. This will give us a very, very short ground. And then uh, we'll be able to go from ground to ground to the part and take a look at our ringing and it's gone. Okay, so that's why you want to do very, very short, uh, short grounds for high frequency pulses. All right, but that's a pain in the butt, so. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna leave the long probe on there, and we'll just, uh, we'll just know that that ringing is fictitious, and we just don't need to worry about it. We'll be looking at other things that we really don't care for, maybe care if they ring or not. All right, there we go. So now we got a little bit of ringy dingy. Um, okay, so let's turn on channel two, and let's look some other places. So this is a, oops, making good contact. So again, this is the uh, uh, five 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 timer. It almost looks like it's a three volt, a three volt timer, but actually, uh, it does rise in volt after the initial uh, ring. It uh, comes up to five volts. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at this. Okay. So this is the input. 
to the gate, and this is the output to the gate. So this is the very last gate that we're looking at. It's input and it's output. And the trick again is to use channel two and invert it. So we kind of look at uh, rising edges to rising edges, just, just a little bit easier to look at. And again, you can see, wow, there's some really strange things going on here. Um, I have quite a long, quite a long probe on on this. Uh, on channel two, I'm going to use the short. I'm going to use the short ground to get an accurate uh, accurate measurement here. Let's take a look at its ring. Yeah, there we go. So that's what the, the input's doing. And now we can take a look at uh, the uh, gate delay. Right, so this is the input of the gate, that's the output of the delay of the gate. So it's about, uh, we can move it over just a tiny bit, make it easier. So it's crossing here, so that's two, that's four. So it's about 3.8 nanoseconds, so it's a very fast part. The propagation delay is very, very fast on this part. Okay, let's remember this one. I'm using the ref function. And now that one will stay there. Now I can go one gate further. Uh, let's go one gate further, which is here. Um, oh, that's interesting. Uh, oh, I just wasn't probing it well last time. Oh, I was using the long, long probe? No, I don't know. Let's do the ref. Save to ref. Okay, we're going to save. Save to ref. There we go. All right, then I'm going to move over one more gate. And in, I don't need to invert it any longer because it's already inverted. And I can move it down. And there we go. And I can hit run stop. Okay. So there's one gate. There's another gate. This gets a little bit slower than that gate, but you're getting the idea. Um, but yeah, this is a very, very fast, very, very fast uh, propagation delays in these parts. All right, one more thing that I wanted to try. I'm going to leave the 555 at 5 volts. I'm going to change the part down to a 2 volt, uh, two volt uh, power supply, so it can run at 2 volts. Let's see if it still operates correctly. So I have it at 3.3 volts right now. So uh, let's go to 2 volts. So now the chip is running at 2 volts, and the 555 timer is running at, uh, at, four, at 5 volts. And it still works. Look at that. Really nice. Uh, so the, the output is toggling, at, uh, toggling there. Again, the 555 timer is up at 5 volts. I'm looking at a different gate here, so we can just kind of look at the prop delay of the two. And we can see that, uh, yeah, our two chips are, uh, chip, two chips are working really good at, uh, at two volts. So there you go. We're converting a uh, five volt system down to a two volt system. That's pretty good. That's, that's, uh, that's fun. All right, that was chip of the day. A 74LVX00 low voltage quad two input and end gate. Yeah, I like it. Thank you.